Hello and welcome to NCC TV and Film and TV Production 2. I'm Max Sandler, your host. Valentine's Day is coming up, so we sent Chip Milbauer into the field today to ask people about Valentine's Day and love. Hi, this is Eric Milbauer with TV and Film Hi. 2, and I am asking Norwalk Community College students about their plans for a Valentine's Day and their ideas about love. What are your plans for Valentine's Day? Well, I think I'm going to be hanging out with my family and not really uh, <laughs> chilling with any women. <laughs> well, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for a nice dinner. You know, maybe we'll catch a movie. Just like a typical date, but, you know, with the stuff a little bit above and beyond. You know, give her flowers. She likes candy. And maybe write her a little poem with a card, and maybe she'll like that. Uh, to go on a date with my boyfriend? I mean, I was going to stay <laughs> Stay, stay, stay home. home. That's really sad. I was gonna stay home. It's yeah. not sad. Everyone likes to stay home every so often. What? Oh, I have a surprise waiting for me, so I'm not really sure. You have a surprise? Yeah. Is there someone that you're waiting for to surprise you? Yes, I am. I'm working all weekend with all the people who are coming to celebrate this marketing scheme of a holiday. <laughs> well, um, uh, I'm a married man, so my plans is gonna be different than regular people as um, planning ahead and doing something special for the wife because if you don't bring do that, do that, I might be in a couch. I'll be working as well all night. Sorry, is there someone special out there for you? Um, no, not yet. Not at all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> I definitely think I met my, my special someone. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, too soon to tell? Yeah. Uh, hopefully it's the current one that I'm with. Do you uh, think you found the one? Uh, quite possibly. What is your idea of a romantic Valentine's Day? Um, maybe some dinner, maybe watch a movie, I don't, I don't really know. I'm gonna do breakfast in bed, and then we'll, you know, probably take a shower together, then we'll probably go out for a walk, and then probably take her out for dinner, then a movie, and then if anything, we'll probably uh, head out for some drinks after, and then wrap it all up late at night taking them to a place that's unexpected, like a place that you wouldn't have normally have like a normal dinner date, like probably somewhere in a park where you set up like a picnic or something, like something that they won't even expect, having a friend play a guitar song for you, if you like yeah. come out of nowhere and be like, what, live music and a <laughs> table? You're like, yeah, yeah, I said food for you, but yeah, something like that, unexpected. What was your worst Valentine's Day experience? Mm. I don't know exactly which one to choose. Um, me and my ex both ha didn't have any plans and we made plans with each other. I spent $120 and we had an awkward kiss and then she said, you know, I think we just should just be friends. And that's it. <laughs> Actually, I've, I can't really say I've had a worse Valentine's Day. I would say every Valentine. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had any bad experiences with Valentine's Day. Nothing terrible. I don't think I really had a worse Valentine's experience. Nothing at all. Nope. Maybe, maybe like not having a Valentine's Day with anyone could right. be one, but right. yeah. It would have to have been in high school when uh, I gave a girl a teddy bear and chocolates and a card. And um, yeah, she basically, I got friend zoned. Well, it looks like at NCC there are a variety of different ideas about what should be done for Valentine's Day and how they feel about love. Back to you in the studio, Max. Thank you, Eric. Thank you for tuning in, and you can tune in for the rest of the semester for more NCC news. Thank you for watching, and have a great rest of your day.